5155 West Tropicana, Unit 1087. I'm going to start inside, just for safety reasons, and then I will finish outside. So, a lot of things are blue. <laughs> um, so, if tile at the entry, you definitely want some sort of blind there for privacy. We need a closet rod, unless you're going to leave that rack in there. This looks like lower quality laminate, just because, I don't know if you can tell in the video, but I can see the, the materials coming up at the seams. We need a blind here, and a vertical here, absolutely, because we're on the first floor. Oh, yes. So we have this carpet out here. Just pointing out, we have these light switches. Definitely want to blind here. It would be nice to have some granite counters, an undermount sink, and a gooseneck faucet. Um, great microwave if it works. The fridge seems a little large for this space, just to me. Um, cracking the tile there. Pretty dirty. I don't know if it can be cleaned or if it needs to be painted over. Generally, we don't like to paint over cabinets because once you start, you're always going to have to touch up. I would recommend 100% repaint, and then at the same time, of course, all that would be patched. Get a blind there. The closet rod doesn't go all the way across. These are not necessarily major things. I'm just pointing out everything. Bad paintwork over there. Carpet looks terrible. I would replace that. That's like a dollar and a half a square foot, and you know it's a small room, so small expense. Uh, outlet covers <clears throat> for that. This is not the same tile that's in the kitchen. So from where I'm standing right now, we have carpet on the right, laminate, tile, and a different tile. Generally, we like the flooring to be as consistent as possible. Draining is about $65 to replace. Of course, you need a shower rod. These cabinets were painted. It looks like it's coming off just a teeny bit there. Maybe it can be cleaned, I'm not sure what that is, but these cabinets actually look okay. You need a toilet paper holder. Light looks good, and again, shower rod. The fan seems fine. Get a little light uh, electrical outlet cover thingy there. It's a vinyl under there. We generally like, uh, or we always actually prefer tile. Moving to this room, the laminate's looking a little worse. You have all these gaps. It's definitely coming up at the seams, although it looks like it's probably newer. It just looks like it's cheaper and installed poorly, which is unfortunate. Uh, these are two and a half inch blinds. These are great. They're just dirty. Make sure they function, of course. Now it's a little crooked. It's really easy to patch over that during painting. Seems like a pretty functional space here. Different flooring again. These cabinets are painted as well and they look pretty good. And we have a little bit of um, backsplash detail there. Okay, I'm going to take you outside now. Did I open this? It's a little closet. <clears throat> you want to rekey this door, of course, as well as a screen door.
sorry. I just, uh, I don't want to keep coming back in and out. Just because this uh, unit is a little further back. So I'm not sure if everyone would like that. So it might be a little quieter, but I personally don't like being hidden in the back. Okay, so here's what it looks like. It's underneath that stairway there. It said the garage is number 113 connecting to building 48. But I actually couldn't find it. So here we have 10, 11, 12. So I tried this one. This is building 49. And this was not the correct one. At least it didn't open for me. So I'm actually not sure where the parking is for it. So I parked where I guess extra cars would park. Which would be right on the other side there. So I'm not sure which other parking is connected to building 48. Okay, that's it.